Hi, I'm Gidon from technologyman.com. The Soundcore Boost is a portable Bluetooth speaker from Anker, costing around £50 or $60. It sits towards the higher end of Anker's current range of portable speakers. It has up to 12 hours of battery life, an IPX5 water resistance rating, a USB charging port and features Anker's Bass Up technology, which is meant to enhance bass at lower volumes. I'll be comparing it against the cheaper Soundcore 2 I reviewed a while back and the popular JBL Flip 4 that is almost twice the price but similarly spec'd. Inside the box you get a basic instruction manual, the speaker itself and a non-branded, slightly cheap feeling micro USB cable. There's no wall charger or 3.5mm auxiliary cable for a wired connection to the speaker. First impressions of the speaker are good. It feels very sturdy with no flexing however hard you try and has a matte plastic top and bottom with small rubber feet. The front and back of the speaker are wrapped around with a fine fabric, making way on one side for a tight fitting cover over the ports. It's quite boxy with only slightly rounded edges and has physical buttons that sit flush along its top. The anchor branding on the front of the speaker is far more subtle than its Soundcore 2 sibling. It weighs 585 grams and measures 193 millimeters by 62 millimeters by 65 millimeters. A little heavier and bigger than the Soundcore 2 and Flip 4, but still very portable, just perhaps not as travel friendly. It looks well sealed and I'd be more than confident in the IPX5 water resistance rating. It shouldn't be submerged in water unlike the Flip 4, but it will survive a splash or a rain shower. And it has a hydrophobic coating so water doesn't soak the speaker fabric. There's a small tab on its side embossed with Soundcore branding. Pulling this firmly reveals a micro USB charging port, an aux in port for a wired connection and a standard USB charging port for charging your gadgets off the 5200mAh internal battery, something neither the Soundcore 2 or the Flip 4 have. I would have liked to have seen a more robust USB-C charging port but it does support charging at 2.1 amps which along with the right charger charges the battery from empty in under 4 hours. When you plug it in, the charging status LEDs light up according to its remaining charge. When all four LEDs are steady white, it's reached full capacity. You can use the speaker while it's charging. The USB-A charging port only has one amp output, as is so often the case on these sort of devices. I'd really like to see a two amp output. One amp is enough for most phones, but not sufficient for tablets or other devices with larger batteries. It does have Anker's IQ charging technology, which is meant to identify the connected device to deliver the fastest charge possible. It delivered just under 1 amp to an iPhone X and iPad Pro and 1.15 amps to a Samsung tablet. A single press of the power button turns the unit on and off with audio feedback that can't be disabled. The first time you turn it on, the power LED flashes blue to indicate pairing mode. Choose Soundcore Boost from your device's Bluetooth settings. There's a confirmation beep and the blue power LED will go steady. On Apple phones and tablets, you can see the battery status by swiping right from the home screen. Whenever you turn the unit on again, it will connect to this last connected device. If that's not available, the power LED will flash blue again, ready for pairing. You can't configure two speakers in a stereo pair like with the Flip 4, and more importantly, it doesn't support pairing to multiple devices. So you'll need to disconnect from your phone, say, to connect across to your tablet. You can unpair any connected device by holding the power button down for more than four seconds when the unit is on. You'll hear the speaker's confirmation beep, but it's back in pairing mode. I would have preferred a dedicated Bluetooth button like on both the cheaper Soundcore 2 and the Flip 4. The Bluetooth pairing process is a little clumsy compared to the Flip 4, which can be connected to two devices at the same time and will automatically play from the device you're currently using. But it's only really an issue if you do need to change the connected device often and you do get used to it. You can reset the speaker and remove all Bluetooth pairing records by holding the power button down for more than four seconds with the power off. The speaker also has NFC support, so you can pair quickly with the supported device just by tapping on the NFC sensor to the right of the buttons. Unfortunately, I don't have any devices that support this. When you turn on the device or press any buttons, the white charging LEDs light up according to the unit's charge for up to 10 seconds and then turn off. Apart from the combined power and Bluetooth pairing button, there's a volume down, play pause, volume up, and the bass up button, which I'll discuss shortly, but by default is on and is lit white. All the lights are quite faint, so you have to look quite closely to see if they are on, in bright light at least. There's no app to configure the speaker. The play button can also skip forward a track with a double press, but there's no way to skip back a track. A long press of the play button will activate your voice assistant. So I could press and hold the play button, wait for the confirmation beep, and say, what's the weather in London? The speaker's microphone also allows it to handle phone calls should you wish. The play button will answer or end a call. The volume controls sync with my iOS devices, but not my Android tablet. So the maximum volume on my iPhone or iPad is the maximum volume on the speaker. There's a confirmation beep that interrupts the music when you reach full volume. If you're connected via a 3.5mm cable, there's no volume synchronisation. It is possible to update the firmware on these units, which I did, but it's not exactly clear what was fixed or added. 
Perhaps audio latency issues, but I didn't test this before doing the update. If you want to update your firmware, I'll add links in the description. Please let me know if you're able to confirm anything it adds or fixes. You install and run the Anker software upgrade utility on Mac or PC, and then with your unit off, you connect it to a computer whilst holding down the volume down and up buttons until the Anker software recognizes the connection. Then select the new firmware file to finish the upgrade. I couldn't get this to work with the supplied micro USB cable, but it worked fine with another cable I had. Battery life is rated at 12 hours at 60% volume and with base up off. I got close to this and about half that at full volume with base up on. It's similar to the quoted battery life for the Flip 4, but less than the Soundcore 2, which has almost double the battery life. The Soundcore Boost has Bluetooth 4.2, not the more recent 5.0 standard, but range was good reaching the next room of the house around 10 meters away and was comparable with the Soundcore 2 and only very slightly less than the Flip 4. The speaker has two full range 10 watt drivers versus the 6 watt drivers in the Soundcore 2 which would account for the reduced battery life to some extent. There are passive radiators for the lower frequencies. This is not a 360 degree speaker, so you will have to pay some attention to placement. As a speakerphone, it works quite well, although the microphone didn't sound so good to the call E unless I got very close to the speaker. Audio delay watching YouTube and Netflix was barely noticeable and even slightly better than the Flip 4. Sound quality is very good and it's loud enough to fill a medium sized room or to be used outside. I measured it at around 2 dB louder than the Soundcore 2 and about the same as the Flip 4 at 1 meter away. There's a good amount of bass for a speaker this size and compared to the competition, and the bass up button does have a noticeable effect but only at lower volumes. At above 60 to 70% I really couldn't hear any difference. It gives the speaker a fuller sound that sounds impressive for the speaker's size. The mids also sound good and it's only when you compare it directly to the JBL Flip 4 that you notice vocals and treble sound a little muddy with not as much clarity as the Flip 4 which does sound very bright, if sometimes even a bit harsh. There's little distortion as you increase the volume, but the muddiness does become more exaggerated. You can listen to a comparison between the Soundcore Boost with bass up on and off, the JBL Flip 4 and the Soundcore 2. I'd recommend using headphones to really hear any differences. Shadow to the sun rays and the 
The Anchor Soundcore Boost is a capable speaker that I think most people would be very happy with. It sounds good, it's well built, it's loud, it has some water resistance, and it'll even charge your phone. At £50 or $60, I think it offers good value for money. The improved sound quality and USB charging make it worth the extra money over the Soundcore 2 if you don't need the extra battery life or smaller, lighter form factor. I do slightly prefer the clarity of the Flip 4 even if it can sound a bit harsh, especially for spoken audio like podcasts. But the Flip 4 does cost more than the Boost and a lot of people would prefer the extra bass of the Soundcore Boost. Ideally I'd like to be able to pair with at least two devices at the same time and the speaker can't be submerged in water, both features the Flip 4 has. But I have no trouble recommending this speaker, especially if you can get it in one of Amazon's frequent sales. Check the links in the video's description for the latest prices. But let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these speakers? Do you have any preference? Or is there something better at this price point? Please let me know down below. And as ever, if you have any questions, please ask. I read every comment and I will do my best to respond. I do hope you found this video useful. Please like the video if you did. I'm releasing videos every week on the latest technology and how to get the most out of it. So please make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to tap the bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as a new video gets uploaded. Thanks for watching.